Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about climate change and how we should respond to it. So, essentially, my view on climate change is I accept the general scientific consensus. However, the general scientific consensus does not say what people think it says. And the solutions posed by environmentalists are terrible and anti-human. So to begin with, I accept the science. I accept the idea that um, carbon increases the temperature of the Earth. That's basically, from my understanding, what the scientific consensus is at the moment. Um, however, there is no evidence to suggest that the consequences of climate change are going to be catastrophic and that they're going to lead to an extinction event or they're going to kill a ton of people or, like destroy a bunch of things or do anything like that there's throughout all of history there's been um apoc po apocalyptic claims and none of them have panned out and all of the predictions for climate change have completely failed nothing has there's never been any evidence of a catastrophe coming with climate change and also the idea that a few degrees warming is going to be a catastrophic catastrophic thing is just absurd like sure okay maybe the coast will rise a little bit but it's not going to be it's not going to be as drastic as people say it's going to be all the all the climate predictions in the past have completely failed um and also a few degrees warming would free up more land for farmland in like siberia or canada or stuff like that so there are actually beneficial sides of uh climate change as well now onto the environmentalist solutions to climate change in general, what environmentalists want us to do is sacrifice our way of living, sacrifice our production for the environment. In essence, they want, so for on energy grounds, for, for one example, they want to replace something that's been working forever, been extremely reliable, been extremely cheap, cheap, plentiful, and reliable. That's the Alex Epstein phrase. Um, uh, that's what that's what fossil fuels have been for us for all of history. They want to replace that with solar and wind and really expensive um, and unreliable sources of energy. And just to further show how these environmentalists don't want human uh, prosperity. They are anti-nuclear as well, which is actually a fairly green source of energy, but it's it's plentiful, cheap, or not cheap yet because of because regulations. Environmentalists have got so many regulations on nuclear, so it has not been able to properly develop and become cheap. But it's plentiful, it's reliable, it's it's like the perfect alternative to the dirtier things like coal and stuff that still work. They're very they're very, very good things at the moment. But nuclear would be the only viable alternative at this point. But environmentalists go against that because, because they don't believe it's safe, which is absolutely absurd. Just look, look up any credible sources on nuclear, and you'll, you'll quickly find that nuclear, all the fear-mongering is complete bullshit. There's no, there's no evidence that nuclear is unsafe. Um... So then the environmentalists, they want to change our way of living to create this, or to support this unchanged environment, which is a very, very terrible ideal. The, the proper ideal would be um, the idea of human prosperity, the idea that we as human beings should try to find happiness for ourselves. And that, and as human beings, we use our minds and we use our minds to change the environment to better suit us. That's how, that's how human beings survive. However, environmentalists, they will go against this by saying, no, we need to have this, this perfect environment that's unchanged at all, which is simply not a perfect environment either because um, there's, it's too cold for us to live. There's a lot of different, like there's places where it's too cold for us to live. There's places too hot for us to live. There's so many negative parts of the environment that we need to change for our survival. So the environment on its own is not perfect. That's but environmentalists act on that premise that it is perfect, and we need to sacrifice ourselves for it. 
It's a very, very, very religious way of thinking, to be honest. The idea that we as human beings, there's this great mother nature that we must sacrifice ourselves to. And yeah, it's just, it's a very anti-human idea. And they want to, they want, like, the idea of uh, reducing your carbon footprint is like using less produced stuff, less, uh, uh, using less production, using electronics less, using cars less, using all the stuff that makes our life easier is talking about using it less. And it's really, in essence, if you take their, their ideas to its logical conclusion, it's we got to go back before the Industrial Revolution, before we begin to an influence the environment as much as we do, which is a very, very, very terrible way of doing things. Because the Industrial Revolution, it made life so much easier for us. It made us so much wealthier, increased our standard of living by so much. So it's very, very anti-human what the environmentalists want to do. They want us to sacrifice our production for the sake of not changing the environment. <laughs> and that is a very, very anti-human mentality. And it just really just hurts our ability to survive in the world. Because obviously as humans, we need to, I, I've already mentioned this, we need to think, think about everything around us. Think about reality. And then we say, okay, I need to think about this and then change it. I need to mold reality into my image based off obviously parameters that reality is what it is. You can't change, you can't simply think things into being. You need to act in accordance with reality to change it to better suit your survival. And that's how humans live. That's what makes humans different than animals. We can, we have the ability to do that. But environmentalists, they want to put us on the same level as animals. And they have this god of mother nature that they must sacrifice everything to. And it's anti-human and a terrible way of looking at the world. Thank you guys. I think that's all I need to say today. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.